isn't there a saying, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again? I think so. Let's just say I had something entirely different planned for you today, and, and that's not gonna happen. Maybe you'll see it at some point in some fashion, but I had a whole awesome video completely done, ready yesterday, and uh, I don't even know where to start. I don't know where to start. It's that feeling when you know you kind of screwed up a little bit and, it, and it's kind of your fault, just because you really wanted something to work out and it didn't. And this is, I think this is an important lesson. I'm trying to, all right, so I have a video that's already done. It's ready to go, but um, it didn't get the green light in time and I didn't have a plan B, just because I'm not one for creating stuff that is just gonna get shelved or just as a backup um, that's how much I want to believe in the thing that I'm doing, right? I just want that to be, I don't want a backup plan because I want plan A to succeed uh, so much. It doesn't happen often, but it got the best of me today. I'm going to use this as an opportunity to teach a valuable lesson, I think. And Ryan actually talked about it on, if you haven't checked out, he dropped his first episode of Ryan Hanley, the podcast today. He actually talked about this. But you have to put that level of priority on it or you're gonna find this, you're gonna, you're gonna get behind, you're gonna get frustrated, you're gonna feel stressed because you're gonna miss a week. And every time you miss a week in the creation process, every time you miss that, that set date that you've kind of, that you've uh, put on yourself to distribute, it just causes a little more stress, a little more pressure. And stress and pressure are the killers of creativity, at least, at least in most cases. Some people can work through those things. I think true pros can get through those things, but man, that's hard. That's hard even for me, and I've been doing this for a very long time. It's that stress, right? It's that stress that, one of the only things that I can definitely control, not my talent, not my creativity, not anything, I can control my consistency. And I've had a lot of people mention that to me, but, um, and that's where I'm at right now with this video, is again, knowing that I have missed the majority of the day, it's not out. I knew I was taking a chance. It's that consistency, right? I've, I've hit 133 straight Sunday mornings where I have written uh, a newsletter, an article. Now again, everyone over here at Agency Nation has probably only seen the last uh, 10, 12, 12. Um, but again, I wrote a, a dedicated Sunday email newsletter uh, previously. Uh, again, that's like two and a half years. Haven't missed a Sunday. Uh, podcast goes out every Tuesday and Thursday. Uh, I don't know exactly, it's probably been a year and a half, two years where I've been hitting that consistently. Uh, I know I missed, um, in making the transition to Agency Nation, I missed about probably a week and a half, two weeks where they didn't go out. But outside of that, um, you know, again, that's just, I, I don't want to break it. And so far right now, I have hit every single week, uh, I've published a video every single Wednesday since I have joined Agency Nation, and I'm not going to let this little snafu stop me. It's the idea of, of, of finding time to create no matter what, right? And, and getting it out. So this is me getting it out, right? Today is Wednesday. I publish videos on Wednesday. Um, it is Wednesday evening and I, uh, and it's gonna go up, right? It's gonna go up before midnight on Wednesday because if it doesn't, I just, it needs to go up. As, as much as this will be terribly below mediocre, uh, calling it mediocre would probably be a compliment. It's still gonna go out. And I think, again, this is where, let me just say, not only did I did I screw up one video, well, it's not screwed up, it's good, I think it's good. Um, you just can't see it yet, or maybe ever, I don't know. But uh, I also, my buddy, Josh Lipstone, he randomly just reached out to me, uh, I think it was actually last night, he said, hey, I forgot how to edit videos. Not a good thing, but sorry, Josh. I was like, hey, great, this is cool. Josh needs help editing videos. Let's record Let's record uh, me talking to Josh. Well, I mean, I don't think that's part of the equation. I mean, the level of garbage is very subjective and it will only continue to be less garbage once you publish whatever amount of garbage you have now. Yeah, I mean, so I would go really close, right? So this is one of the biggest editing mistakes I see people make is they just, they're, they don't go, they don't, go as close as they can like watch Sydney's stuff like her videos like she is really close to when she's starting and ending sentences even to where she's cutting off a little bit of the beginning or end sometimes um so don't be afraid to just shave it right up to where you start talking even you know just a half of a you know millisecond of the syllable because that'll, that'll make it punchier right it'll just keep the pace moving a little bit more i mean it's not unwatchable which i think is is the the bar we're 
we're clearing here. And so this is the thing too, another secret, right? You will destroy so much of your time in life trying to do it the way somebody else does it. You wanna emulate as much as you can to some extent just to kind of breed familiarity with the process, but there's gonna be natural instincts. It's like, I kinda of wanna do it this way, and I would lean into those, right? And then your style will develop over time. So it's like, I just gotta forget that they exist, and I just gotta do the thing that I can do. And you sometimes forget that the thing that you can do is unique to you and it's gonna be better than what somebody else can do because it's just your thing. Now it's it's all gonna be mediocre at first, but eventually you'll come into something that is your own thing. It'll feel natural and it won't feel like you're doing anything special, but it is your own kind of signature style. Got like go on the clip, hover on the clip. Uh, you just click now hit uh, hit B. Now come to the edge of that clip and drag it to, uh, and just trim, no, no, yep, nope. No, no, other way. I want to point the other direction. Oh, your audio and video are separate. Dude, if you just keep doing it, it'll get way better, way easier, right? And I recorded my screen with Josh's audio and, and my audio and, and my hard drive ran out of, ran out of space while I was recording my screen and I lost the whole thing. And it was like five o'clock and Josh had to go and we couldn't do it again. And we talked for like an hour and I was like, oh man, this is awesome. I got so much stuff. I'll just cut this up real quick and awesome editing, you know, kind of tutorial. So not only do I not have the screen capture or Josh's audio or really my good clean audio from this thing, um, uh, you've got a camera pointing at my computer screen that is okay uh, and no audio from Josh. Two lessons. One, I don't know that, I don't know that I'm advocating for a backup plan just yet. I like to have your back against the wall and, and to believe in, in the first idea so much that um, you know the other thing just doesn't really need to exist. Two, it's gotta mean something to you, right? It's, it's, it's gotta eat away at you if you don't get it out. It's gotta bother you more than anything that you missed it, right? That you weren't, that you didn't uphold a commitment. If you didn't do the thing, like it, you, you just have to not, I don't know what the right word is, you just can't, the power of consistency uh, is, is definitely underrated, right? Just do the thing over and over again. And before you know it, it just, it will be something that you don't think about and you'll be pretty darn good at it.